initiative in the lane, but this time he's going to be doing it all by himself. For now, matching up okay against Resolution, but I'm looking at another laning stage where Resolution can kind of do as he pleases, so it's going to be interesting to see pan out. As long as he has Soxa hanging down there by his side, Resolution is not going to be under any pressure at all. He doesn't have to split the XP here. Just happy to trade blows, so not much to stop in mid lane. Burrow mid lane, in for Burrow strike. Nice, skewer back. We hug nice. him under the tower. Dishes out the raises, trying to get Biru, but not going to be able to get it done. First blood, going to be going the way of the doo -wop. That's huge for, for 747. Stops the Necromastery stacks from getting any more out of control. Simple. Otherwise, he's going to feel a bit weak when it comes time to really, you know, start taking some bigger fights here. Right now, they are contesting Moon Meander once again, but Moon, confident, moves in with Misery by his side, and suddenly Beer's just instantly dead. Yeah, he, they wanted, I think, to, they wanted to get the creep wave there. They wanted to push the tower. They wanted to have Beery there involved, but Misery just rotates over. Moon Meander knows what's going on, and that's just a, essentially a free kill that they, did, they didn't need to give away. So that that is... Not that great for Duop up here. Meanwhile, Snake he pops down a ward, but while he's far from go. his buddy Resolution, that's when they're going to make their move. Oh, oh but they miss the stomp. Sox is going to yeah. be there now, and he can dish out the disruption. This might be just far gone, and, and as you can see, just turns into an easy nap for Resolution. Very awkward engagement. Unfortunately, they're not able to catch their mark. And uh, Yawar even Yawar rotates even down. rotated down bottom now. Yeah. So they have to push something or else this is just wasted. They lose another hero top lane. That, that like minute span of events for Duop just everything crumbled for them. For Duop, they would have had that sensor ult. We're good to go here. They are going to make their move in. Looking to grab Moon Meander oh, here. But uh, again, swing and a miss. Not going to get the connection. Moon just dancing all over him. They're going to have to commit the Omni Slash to be able to get the finish. At this point, though, Duop, they'll take what they can get. But bottom lane, DC takes something for themselves. A tier one going down. That was a level one burrow strike. If that was probably level two, he gets that, that stun and they get that kill without using the Omni Slash. However, not only that, they lose the tier one tower bottom as well as the tier one tower top. Mid lane, Weeha walking oh. up. He is going to get Glimpse back. They have RP ready. They have the skewer back. Will they commit the RP is the question. They have the burrow strike coming in. They need that kill. They needed that kill badly for Duop and they get it. And here you also TPC it and gets involved and gets to level four because of it. But again, they are still taking a lot of damage down bottom Dakota. Yeah, I mean, they just took out that bit or, you know, start putting these level sixes to use. Well, Weeha is picking up a Dragon Lance, so I feel like they want to be a little bit more involved early. Yeah, they are. Moon smoked up. They're going over. They're looking to play. They this are is still a counter smoke, though, from Duop. Are you coming with a Thunder or to be a Bro Strike potentially? Static Storm first, Bro Strike follow. Weeha, I think, might fall here first, but can they find anything else? They got it done. Primal Roar on the back inside. 747 shoves him back, but there's going to be the Eclipse. He dishes out the RP. He's going to try to do what he can to Moon. Burrow Strike will help get the finish. 747 looking to run back, but he will lose his own life. Glaive's coming on forward. Resolution bops down Clairvoyance. It's going to be a two for two split, but they're not done yet. There goes the Mighty Purge. You are not going to be able to Blade Fury away from this one, and the right clicks continue to come through. Resolution begin to clean up and be the lawnmower here as he claims a triple kill with a cute little taunt at the end of it right now. Yeah. He wants the tier one. DC want to get the quick 2 0 and get on with their day. It's just Resolution's real farm. They actually, he only got a one man RP. He almost hit the two man RP there. It's uh -oh. just too much, I think. They're too. Sox they're a little bit trouble. too far behind. You are getting, or rather, catching out Soxa here. He might be a free kill. He does have his disruption. He'll use it for a moment, but I don't see him surviving. Staking, gonna stomp it up and grab the kill from that. So at least they get, they get a return kill there. Yeah, I mean that's just uh, Soxa becomes I, the next big question. <laughs> well, they can't fight here. They, they, they lift the tower, but the tower is already pretty much dead at this point. So by the time they get over to the lane. Maybe they find a couple heroes retreating, one or two. They will find out Resolution, who immediately eclipses in. Now, Biryu, he pops the shrine and then runs away instantly. Sandstorming along the way. Burrow shot to the high ground. He's going to they can get done here. Confident Weeha with that Aegis just pounds away onto the tier three. Eats a bit of damage now. Doesn't have to worry about repositioning too much. They still go for the glimpse, but obviously it's not going to matter too much. Does it oh. jump in the roar right as movement comes out from Snay? He just gets punished immediately. They move in, trying to get a hold of Weeha's Aegis life, but he's just standing and fighting. Sox is going to go for the save. RP comes out, but it's only to bring the damage close to their face. They will be able to bring down Moon Meander, but a Requiem flies out from Wee, and it is just good game. Just like that, it takes about a half hour to complete both of our games, but we are done here, and so is DC. Wow. That was great reaction time from that blink from Snake King. They were ready. They knew that was like one of the only ways they were going to lose a team fight. They were ready for that jump in. The RP misses and only hits onto Moon Manor. He already expended his roar. The UR didn't get any damage off. He still had his Omni Slash at the end of the fight. There's just nothing they could do there. 
There's just nothing they could do, I think, in that game. It's just they, they just aren't on the same level, I mean. I thought Duop was going to do pretty well here, and it wasn't even really... It wasn't even close. I think the most interesting series, in terms of, like, not between NP and some other teams, or, like, NP, DC, and Cole, I think is actually Complexity and Infamous, which is next, Dakota. That oh, should be a good yeah. one. Should be a it's doozy. It's going to be good. Yeah, our final best of two for today, which uh, we may have a bit of delay <laughs> because these games were so fast. We may have to wait, like, an hour or so before it starts up, but we will have Complexity versus Infamous coming up next. One last time, let's give it up. It's Digital Chaos. You're uh, ESL Genting Champions here.